Hey, what's going on everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, coming at you from scenic Torrance, California, where I'm joined by Chef Andy Matsuda. Chef Andy is the CEO and mastermind behind Sushi Chef Institute, an intensive two-month-long course that churns out some of the best American sushi chefs in the game. Chef Andy's gonna see if I have what it takes to make it in his classroom. Hopefully I make the grade. And that actually leads me to my first question, because you know, you always hear about sushi masters spending tens of thousands of hours perfecting their craft. Is it possible to get on top of these techniques in a couple of months, or in my case, like two hours? We try. We try the best we can. We do here teaching only five things. We need a sharpening a knife. Second one, cutting a fish. Third one, we do making a sushi rice. And fourth one, nigiri and live roll. Only five things, very short, condensed. Well, no one needs more teaching than me, Chef Andy. Let's get right to it. We have a fish in front of us. What's step one? So we need to have a scale off, then we can do fillet. What kind of fish are we using right now? This one is it's called striped bass, farm raisin in Baja, California. Leave no scales on this fish. Yeah, no scale. You can't eat it. Be gentle. We can't break in the meat. Yeah, I'm going kind of hard. Be gentle. You never really realize how many scales are on a fish until <laughs> you just start taking them off. Fish, nice and smooth, totally descaled. What's step number two? So now we need to do head off. Off with its head. Uh -huh. Step then, two. Yeah, then it's filleting. Okay. So let's go. Okay. So we're holding a side. Grab this and side fin. The fin here. And the bottom fin. Not a straight, a little bit of angle and toes it to the middle bone. Lifting the fin up, cutting beneath the fin. Reach the middle bone. Reaching the middle bone. Yeah, don't cut the bone. Don't cut the bone. I'm reaching the middle bone and then just right. chilling. Right, right here. Wow. Now holding the heads, holding the tails, and then breaking the neck, and then pull out. Wow. So we don't need to cut the bone in anything. R.I.P. Now we gotta fillet this fish. Right. Okay. So tail to you. Tail to me. We cut in a 45 angle. This is the frat. This is a 90. So 45 angle to just to cut the skin only. All right, little tip of the knife, just getting through the skin only, going all the way right. to the top here. Right. So even though we're chopping heads off and filleting up, it's still a finesse game. So this area should be off already. Hmm, let's see if mine did that. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so now we can do little by little. Whoa, actually, wait, maybe I did do that right. Look at me fillet a fish. Good. Chef. So we filleted our straight bass. We're gonna wrap it up, keep it dry, keep it under 40 degrees, keep it fresh because we have some more work to do before we get back to the bass. Mm -hmm. This to me looks like a big piece of tuna. Mm -hmm. What do we have here and what are we gonna do to this thing? Uh, this one is uh, yellowfin tuna, but we need to do this one, you can do sashimi, so we need to break it down or called sakudori style. Obviously, there's a lot of fish here. How do we get it down to its sushi size? We can show you the, how we do sashimi and to the right side and sushi coming to the left side. How big are you cutting these pieces? Each one have about 15 grams, that meaning a half ounces per a piece. It's a nice bite size. And then Sushi size, we need to do, you can see the grain in here. Right. So we can serve it to the grain because it's too chewy. So we need to do against the grain. It's like a dance. Very graceful. I can see how you fall in love with this. <laughs> I can see that. I feel like I'm getting the hang of it. And then I look at like my slices and all of yours look more or less the same. And I see that mine is a much more of a snowflake situation. It's just sort of all over the place. But that's my signature style. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> Take a look, world. Sean Evans cutting some sushi. The rice is out. And the big misconception about sushi is everybody thinks that it's about the fish, but I know that sometimes you have a sushi apprentice will spend years on just the rice. 
Can you talk to me about how important the rice is and what goes into making the perfect rice? Sushi rice, we use them for uh, short grain or medium short grain. And we need to do cooking by about 45 minutes cooking by rice cooker. And after that, we have a vinegar solution, a vinegar, sugar, salt combination uh, pool mixing. And it takes about a process of the two hours for that. One thing is when you're starting a dry hand and uh, touch the rice. It'll stick to you. It'll stick to you. Two fingers only, and drop in, and then moisture your hand. And a fresh oh, like is uh, extra moisture's out. Right, it's out. And then we're making nigiri. Right. And for those who don't know, that's the rice and, and fish. the fish. Right. Yeah. Uh, nigiri started to probably by 250 years ago. It's uh, fish and rice put together. It used to be big, but now in a small portion of it. The fish is coming to the left hand. Rice is coming to the small one, by 10 little, to the 15 grams. Little, little ball. Yeah. And uh, wasabi right in the middle of uh, fish. Little finger action. Uh-huh. And the rice is about uh, 10 to the 15 grams. And we need to do flip over and uh, upside down. And we need to do grab a two finger and then side to side. Side to side. On a, on a finger on right here. And two finger attach it, rotate. And a pinch it again and two finger. What kind of shape are we turning this into? Because I notice you have a very graceful, it's sort right. of rounded out like a 1950s Mustang. Mine is just sort of stacked. <laughs> All right, tuna, check. Now I guess we'll just bust that bass out of the fridge, uh -huh. do one more roll, and then I'll present my midterm okay. to you, okay, chef? <laughs> so we need to do filet, sashimi style. Then we need to do wrapping and a California roll, and then we do toaching. Grab the seaweed. Rice by tennis ball size. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Putting some crab down. Cucumber. Putting some cucumber down. Avocado. Putting some avocado in. Very thin. So deliberate, so graceful. There's an art to it. How tight should this be packed? Uh, we, need to, we need to cut, so we need to put it tight. Feels a little advanced for uh, my first day, but here goes nothing. It's like watering the grass. All right, so here we have the finished product. If you're at home and you can't tell which is which, I could understand. Here's Chef's, here's mine. Chef, if maybe you could go through what I've made today, tell okay. me what I did well, and then tell me where I fell a little bit short. So nigiri is, uh, we're gonna one, two, 10. We can get to uh, four. Okay. We need a training. <laughs> we need uh, help yeah. Straight up. Special roll and uh, sear, stray bass, a roll. Hey, that's good. That's good, right? That's, that's good. a solid B. I'll take that. Okay. I'll take that. Now, California roll, we did a first time roll, probably about a halfway. Mm -hmm. Five. Five. Okay. Yes. And you know what I think? You know why? Because some of these are ones. Okay. This one's a one. Yeah. I'm not going to shy away from that. It's a one. I know it. I'll own it. But then this. It's a 10. So right. that's how I think we end up at five. You know, like some of them are tens, some of them are ones, and then we end up, bam, right that's in the middle. High. Now you know what your chef goes through when they make your sushi rolls. So I want to say thank you for your time. I very much appreciate it. Thank you. Very Shout much. out to the Sushi Chef Institute. And if you want to give it a shot at home, I say go for it. You know, it's like stand-up comedy. It's gonna stink your first 100 times. That's why you gotta go on stage 101 times until you get it. Same with sushi, just keep making it. Just keep cranking those rolls and eventually, hopefully, you'll end up with something that you can actually eat. Right. All right?